Hey guys, this is Bad Al with an update to the controller support package for Steam. Over the last year, we've I've gotten a lot of feedback on uh, Roll not working. I know Roll doesn't work, um, but in the last uh, couple of months, we've gotten some feedback from a couple of users that I um, I think is really useful for us. Uh, one of the, one of the one of the users ended up editing his profile to get the functionality to work. And uh, another one of the users suggested that we use the Steam input mapping in order to get the um, B button mapped to roll on a double tap. So I'd like to, let's look at this bug report right here by Ivan Prof. Now Ivan went and did a lot of messing around with hex values and um, his profile. He created this spreadsheet right here. And based on this spreadsheet of uh, Ivan's work, I've created this um, controller, uh, this profile editor for the for the controller config. If we go to the um, front page of the GitHub, you could download this program uh, from this link right right here um, in, in blue. So to use this, to use this, uh, we just do load profile, select your profile. And I would suggest basically just doing auto fix, save profile, it'll tell you it's saved. But you can also, if you'd like to, you can play around with this and edit different um, uh, button mappings. This is not terribly well tested, but um, I did want to deliver at least something kind of functional that was intuitive. OK. So we saved our profile. We did the auto fix. Let's have a look at the game. Okay, just load up Coruscant here. We'll pick a clone and then we'll just verify. Here he is and he's rolling. There we go, tap and B and he rolls. Okay, now let's check out a Jedi. Go to Moss Eisley, Hero Assault. And let's try Darth Maul. There's roll. Roll's working. Nice. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to mention about um, another way to get roll working is through Steam input. So let's take a look at uh, Steam input here. So we'll click on this little controller button here. Go to Enable Steam Input, and then we'll go to Edit the Layout. I already have um, a button. Let, let me let me remove that one. Okay. So if we wanted to um, add an extra command to the B button, uh, click on the gear, and then let's see, add an extra command. Go to keyboard, hit Alt. Okay, and then we want it to actually happen not on a regular press, but a, a double press. So that if we wanted to, we could also do a crouch and then double press. And then inside the um, game's UI, it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't say none or null or, or, or zero or whatever it says. Okay, so that I'm not going to show you that that, that uh, works, but just trust me on that one. It does work. Also, if you are a um, Battlefront 2 modder and you kind of like to get your hands dirty looking at the um, 
controller options screen. Um, I'll leave a link in the description where you can take a look at. This isn't what's in the PC controller patch. But this is this is the UI. This is the settings UI the interface that the or the user interface that the controller um, config editor is based on. This one was used in the Xbox and PS2. I couldn't fig I couldn't find a way to just add in roll with a with a value to set. So it looks like from what I can tell they make you do a um, sync uh, with the Lua side and, and the um, C plus plus side, which is unfortunate because it would have been great to be able to edit that in game. But um, maybe you want to take a look and see if maybe you can do better. So I'll, like I said, I'll leave a, a link in the description for that. Um, well, I don't have too much more to say, but uh, I, I am happy that we do have a couple other solutions now for that roll, because it's really annoying when you, uh, when you really want to roll and you're crouching. So shout out to Bleepity Blue and Ivan Prof for those helpful tips. All right, thanks guys, goodbye.